it's a bad idea to kind of fix it as it is instead of going from here to white to art, from here to art. You have enough kids to... Because we do have kids in our program and our kids in our program can total up to like 30 or 40 oh, or okay. even 50. Okay, this is gonna be cool. I was recently contacted by an organization, a nonprofit organization here in Miami called Gang Alternative. What they do is that they offer uh, tutoring and, and offer kids a sense of community, a sense of belonging, a sense of identity. And they're, they're getting together with the city of Miami police to do this block party before um, spring break starts, just to set a nice uh, tone and a nice mood. They decided to do this uh, race awareness, basically, for the community. The community is in, uh, it's called Little Haiti. It's a few blocks from my neighborhood. Actually, I'm gonna go biking today because today is the event. I have to do a mural on a wall that is over 100 feet long that has been vandalized by you know gang spraying on it writing stuff on it in this community and and i was like yeah i'm excited about this but how long do we have and it's from from five to eight i think as a concept it would be better if i get the kids to work with me and paint with me so i'll be kind of leading them i want to get their creativity to come out and just paint on the wall i can't wait to see what, what they draw and i'm excited to be part of this let's go Let's wrap this video up. Identify your soul with the sense of community united by your art gives you the immunity. Peace.
NBC6's Stephanie Bertini joins us live from Miami, where a graffiti mural was repainted tonight. Stephanie. Trina, Miami police have dealt with more than just graffiti for a long time when it comes to areas in the city that are plagued with the gang problem. We first told you about gang alternative last week. After two officers were shot in Liberty City, another area where police are dealing with a gang problem. We highlighted gang alternative's efforts to save youth from getting recruited into a life of crime. The organization focuses on prevention, giving kids alternatives. Alternatives like art. This local artist invited to come out to paint a mural over graffiti. He, on board with the organization's mission, got the children involved. I just told them, uh, think of a garden, think of a happy place, and just be free. I didn't want to tell them what to do, because this was vandalized by gangs, and we have the graffiti, so I wanted them to be uh, uh, painted as a statement. From the art to the dancing, there were a lot of smiling children here, even though the truth is, some of them have already lived very tough lives. I think it's important to have, not, not just the, the folks in the, in the community, but to have law enforcement, you know, hanging around. And maybe his visions can't say each child from gang recruitment and crime but surely he can try he says to save some and show them there is opportunity for the bright futures they deserve and of course the gang problem in this city and in miami dade in general is complicated the director of gang alternative says that's why it's important for people to come together for communities to come together because as he put it this is everybody's problem i'm reporting at police headquarters in miami tonight stephanie bertini nbc6 news